morning. Uh, good morning, everybody. I'm so excited. It's Sunday, March 29. We have so much going on in Arbonne. Woo! And I can't wait. Can't wait to just um, brainstorm together. And all of these things to make this our best month ever. We are having our So, super exciting. So, we wanted to start out with the topic of um, donating for healthcare providers, um, Arbon care packages, which is so lovely. It's the, you know, culture of Arbon to give back the most. We want to be known as the company that gives back the most. And I love how Jean David said, we don't want to be the best company in the world. We want to be the best company for the world. Isn't that awesome? So that's what you're a part of, just how can we be the best company for the world? And we are right now. Do you know Arbon is considered an essential business because we have non-perishable food items that ship right to people's doors. I mean, how beautiful is that? And you guys think about it. For a dollar and three cents, we're we're able to, um, or people are able to purchase. We're able to donate meals for a dollar thirty with their full amino acid profile, full, you know. <laughs> vitamins that they need each day. I mean, how amazing is that? And it ships right to their door, or we're going to deliver it to these healthcare providers. I mean, so anyway, I just want you to understand that we're, we have something here. We have something so special for, for such a time as this. So I wanted to talk about, um, yes, Amy just said she um, had to the cause, um, you know, to purchase products. And you guys, we have this deal going on in March. We can purchase as a consultant at 50% off with a 400 QV um, size order and up, you know, so any, any order over 400 QV is 50% off. I mean, this is the time to dig in and um, maybe do a live video on your feed today talking about, you know, how you want to give back and these are the hospitals and this is the situation. Um, this is your connecting person and why, you know, why you want to donate here. Um, but you know what, even beyond the one unit, like Sherry's already covered a unit. So now she's looking for other units to cover. So I would love to hear, um, Sherry, do you want to share a little bit about, about how you're doing this? And, and just to show that people truly want to do something. Everyone's, you know, quarantined at home right now, wanting to, do something about it you know how can they be part of the solution how, how can they be part of you know saying thank you to those who are on the front lines um well i haven't really done too much um different than what everybody else has done which is just post on instagram and yeah. uh facebook and i've just been trying to put it in my stories as well um i've just had a couple people that have done like hundred dollar donations and then uh, my aunt actually sent it to her, um, her whole entire work because she's like, oh, since this is local for us, like, I want to see if I can find some other people. Um, and she had someone that I don't even know at all from work who ended up Venmoing money to donate to, to the kids as well. So I'm just going to keep doing that. And I like Amy's idea of doing a live. Um, because I did do a, a Instagram of like just showing what the kits are going to include, like the protein and fizz sticks and stuff. Because uh, the image that I'm showing, that's the ones that I'm going to actually put in there. So I just was trying to explain to people like what the product does to help keep our doctors, nurses, and medical staff healthy um, so that they can, you know, get everybody back to being healthy again. Because if they're not healthy, they're not going to be able to work. So um, I just did a story about that the other day, and I just posted again this morning, just a reminder that I'm doing that, um, but I like Amy's idea of doing a live so that you, because it kind of opens up to more people than what's, you know, people that are just following you. So that's all I've done so far, and then plus just, you know, helping my team, and I think I might reach out to a couple clients who really love to help others and see if they want to try to do this in their own town. Um, you know, have, who considered maybe doing Arbonne as a business, and they just haven't joined yet. And this might be a good way to have some, you know, good feel good stuff with Arbonne as well as, as a donation more than anything else. So I'm going to try that too and see what happens. Great. Perfect. Yeah. I love, um, I love the idea because we're, or at least I'm reaching out to 
my preferred clients and consultants and even expired, you know, people who used to buy Arbonne, whatever, I'm reaching out to everyone about the 40 and 50% off deal. And then also adding, you know, um, if anything, I just want you to know our team is donating care packages to Arbonne at our cost and, um, you know, to, to give back to the healthcare providers, would you want, would you be interested in being part of that participating? So that's another way, just as you're messaging people about the deals, you know, also <laughs> add that we're doing this, um, give back, give back movement here too. So um, how many, I would love to have a number just so that we can all post about it as a team collectively, how many kits have we covered so far? You said, how many, how many does $500 cover, Amy? So Erin told me, uh, she actually, <clears throat> excuse me, she actually placed the order under her husband's account. Um, and so she got the 40% off, but she said she bought like 25 shaker cups, four boxes of protein bars, four, three or four boxes of the individual shake packets, a box of fizz, a box of hydration. So she had, with the 25 shaker cups, at least enough for that, but then there's gonna be some extra. So I'm gonna place my order today. And I told her I would figure out how I could supplement to make the sets even, you know what I mean? Like if that means I buy more mm -hmm. fizz sticks or more bars, whatever it might be. So, and then with my mm -hmm. donations, I have enough for nine so far. So, so like, we'll just say, mm -hmm. what do you wanna say, like 35? Yeah. Are you yeah. 35 so far? Okay. And then how about for you, Sherry? And, you know, I was just going to say one thing too. Oh, sure. sure. I, I realize it may not be like a perfect, you know, there may be some extra fizz or there may be some extra protein packets. And I was telling her whatever's extra, I'm just going to throw in a big Ziploc bag and just send it that way because it'll get used, you know. Right. Absolutely. And we have, I don't know, um, thanks for bringing that up, Amy. I'm not sure. I, the last I heard is we were getting low on shaker cups in Arbonne. So if, if they're not available, um, another thing we could do is either one, get the water bottles, you know, the, the bigger water bottles, or um, Arbonne has those, um, it's a, like a 25 pack for $5 in the business aid section. And they're like, it's like a green bag with leaves on it, but it, it, it's see-through too. So we could also put products in those bags. You know, it's a really pretty, like a Ziploc mm. kind of Arbon bag. So that's another idea in case they do run out of um, uh, shaker cups. Or, I mean, I know I heard too that we were going to get low on the individual protein packets. So whatever it is, whatever we can do, let's just do what we can with what we have. It doesn't have to exactly match the picture, you know, um, but we can do with what we have. So I just want you to not let that stop you. Can I just <laughs> if say you have to get creative thing? with your packages. Sure. Just one other thing. I originally thought that I was gonna put the products in the shaker cup <clears throat> and give mm -hmm. it that way but I forgot that the shaker cups come wrapped. And I was actually talking to Wendy Burns the other day and she works in the hospital and she said, and so it occurred to me, you know, they're already wrapped. I don't think that I wanna open those cups. And she said, keep them wrapped because they don't have time to wash them. And the nurses and doctors will be so happy that it's wrapped and take the wrapper off and it will be clean enough for them. So I was just gonna put the products in like small Ziploc baggies. So just have the cups separate from the products because um, it was a good point. I wouldn't have thought of that. She's like, they're not going to have time to clean that stuff. They'll be happy it's yeah. wrapped up. So anyway, that's it. I love that. Great point. Thank you. How about you, Sherry and Lindsay? How many, um, how many uh, care packages have you covered so far? Just a rough estimate, just so we can all post about it and say, as a team, we've already, you know, come up with this many. Well, I... Go ahead, I have a, sorry, I think we're both talking at the same time. I can't see you. Sorry, I'm on my phone, so I don't know. Go ahead, Lindsay. Oh, I, I bought 80 kits yesterday. 80? 80 shaker cups and enough of everything to go in. 80 bars, um, enough fizz for two, so 160 fizz. Because um, I was going to do two, I did hydration packs. And 
what am I missing? Protein packs. Um, and as of yesterday, all the lemon ice bars were out, so I can only do the chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And awesome. I called Arvon and they said that the lemon ice were not due to be back in stock until April 6th. So I don't know if that'll change, you know, so people can load up on them with the discount, but that's what Arvon told me when I called yesterday. So I just went ahead and bought chocolate, even though I personally don't care for the chocolate. <laughs> I think it tastes you like know bark, what? But... Hunger is the best seasoning. Yeah. <laughs> Working, I used to work as a nurse, 14 hour shifts. I would eat a chocolate bar, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm excited. I bought 80 kits and hopefully they'll arrive this week. That's amazing, Lindsay. Great job. That's Thank so you. fun. And congrats, Miss Aria Qual. <laughs> <laughs> so exciting. Thank you. Yeah. Me too. How about you, Sherry? Yeah, I'm excited, Lindsay. That's awesome. Um, I have 22 so far, and I'm just doing mm -hmm. the, um, protein, like two protein packets, um, a couple fizz, a couple hydration, and then fit chews. Because when I talked to my sister, she um, was not wanting me to send shaker cups. She's like, we get free shaker cups all the time. She was like, I wouldn't waste your money there. Like, if you could just give us more product. She goes, that would be better. So that's why I'm not doing okay. the shaker cups right now. But, but if we okay. go into Petoskey, if I get her stuff covered, I'm going to help Melissa and Tara here. Great. That's awesome. And how, how about you, Lauren? I know you had some covered too, right? Yeah, I'm at 11 so far. Um, okay. But my contact at, I'm going to my sister's best friend who's in Lansing. But mm -hmm. um, she has used Arbon before. Um, but she said that when she was doing our button, all the nurses love fit chews. So I was going to talk, I was going to throw some caramel in there or some lemon um, into the packs as well. But the fist sticks and I haven't figured it all out yet, but they like the fit chews. So. I lost you for just a second. Did I <laughs> say it again? Oh, I can do, I'm going to do the fit shoes into the um, packs as well. Okay, awesome. How about anyone else have you? So we're up to 148 right now. This is exciting. I have 26, but my, my goal is 50. Andrew oh, is that and Megan? I, yeah, Andrew and I are probably mm -hmm. going to match the, um, the donation. Um, and I also talked to my sister and I don't think I want to do the shaker cup. She said, just add more products instead. She said definitely Perfect. a bunch of fist sticks and, um, I was going to do the fit shoes and the, um, protein bars and I'm hoping the immunity booster, if the immunity booster gets back in stock, I would love to get that. I think that would be a good one, but it's, I keep looking every day. It's not there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know. I know our bond's hustling to get those back. <laughs> yeah. So, um. Yeah, that's it for now. Um, I awesome. have a question. Um, sure. Is anyone putting their contact information or making a, putting a business card or anything in with these baggies? Yes. Like if they want to order more or like, how should we do that? Yes. You absolutely need to put your, your business card or contact info. Um, I was talking to Sherry too yesterday, just how we should, um, I mean, put in, put in an is our bond for you sheet, put in uh, that 30 day, um, overview sheet. I forget what it's called, but I can take a picture of it and send it to you. Okay. But you know, for sure, put in some information because, and who knows, you know, maybe some people are like, ugh, you know, whatever. Right. But, but, but if it's in the hospital, it's going to be laying around on the, on the workstation, you know, on the desk or whatever, and someone might pick it up. So yeah, yeah definitely put your contact information in there. And you know, why not? Why not add a little bit about our bond too as a company? Okay, cool. Thanks. Yeah, for sure. Anyone else have some donations they want to add to our number? It's okay. I'm just getting going with mine too. I had to figure out where they were going. <laughs> but now I've now that I have that, <laughs> we're gonna hustle. So um yay. So that's exciting. And then I wanted to just really quick um let you know about the 
the virtual GTC. If anyone's already um, registered for GTC, you're automatically enrolled in the virtual GTC. You'll get back the difference of your registration fee. Um, the virtual is $99. And it's exciting because now I feel like it, it is a blessing because we'll have more of our team, you know, able to plug in to the virtual GTC. And the, the kicker is we have new products coming out. We have an I Want It All package, okay? That's like a fantastic discount. It's usually like 55% off or sometimes 60% off or something. But it's only those I Want It All packages are only available for consultants who are registered for virtual GTC. So I just wanted you to know that um, and get the word out. So, um, yay, I'm so excited. So I was thinking too, um, I was listening to a go for gold yesterday and they were saying, you know, let's be, you know, let's hold this in our mind. There's so many people in this moment in time and I get emotional about it because they're, they're lost. Like this is a scary time, you know, not only I feel like people are going to have financial you know, get hit financially before they're going to get hit with the virus, you know, but this is, this is a huge financial hit for our country, um, for the world economy too. And why not, why not be the reason that the economy bounces back, you know, sharing our bond and sharing this beautiful blessing of a business that we have. Um, and, and Tara, I don't know, are you cool to share a little bit about some verbiage about reaching out to people? Yeah, I am. Um, okay. Tammy, Tammy sent me a call yesterday and it was so good. Um, we can send it out to the group too. Um, but she talked a lot about um, your I story and your verbiage and how to reach out because I've had a really hard time just kind of like getting stuck and getting past a certain point. Um, so she said, absolutely. Um, she encourages her team to do their I story. And she said, it doesn't have to be, a, you know, a 50 minute video. It should be like 10 minutes or less of just why you join Arbonne and what the impact has been for you. Um, she said, talk, absolutely talk about your hesitations of why you didn't want to join in the beginning, because that resonates with so many people. Um, I definitely, you know, personally it resonated with me. Um, I think we all had hesitations in the beginning. Um, she said, absolutely talk about, you know, touch on the products a little bit, um, that they're consumable, which is a huge, huge point. Um, the technology and in this day, I mean, look at where we are now, you know, we're still able to connect and meet and virtually, um, virtually hold one-on-ones and coffee dates and healthy happy hours and everything. Um, she said touch on the income, but she doesn't send out, um, she doesn't send out like the, uh, the pay range at all. She just kind of touches on that, you know, it's, it's also an income in the community. Um, and this is a huge point for me as a community, you know, the products are great and that's absolutely what we kind of fall in love with first. Um, but as we get immersed in this business and immersed in the culture, the community is just so huge. And, um, how amazing is it on a Sunday morning at nine o'clock to spend some time being uplifted and empowered. And that's just, that's, you know, you can't put a price on that at all. Um, she said for reaching out, uh, kind of look at the best time of day for that person, make it intentional. She said sometimes she does her power hour like at seven or eight o'clock at night. You know, she's like, she knows that someday, sometimes during the day, you're just inundated with texts and emails and calls. And, you know, if you have kids and a job and anything, she's like, people just may kind of let that go. So she said kind of, a, you know, around that seven, eight o'clock time at night. She's found that that's the best time. So just kind of make it when you're reaching out to somebody, make it to their time. You know, it might not be, it might be after school or it might be eight o'clock at night. Um, she said, send a voice memo. Uh, and also, I, I didn't even know this, that um, you can send a voice memo on iPhones. But if you're reaching out to somebody with an Android, you can actually record the memo and then send it to their text and they'll still get it. She said, you know, I just, and I didn't know that. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. Um, she said, you know, kind of start out and say, uh, and this absolutely resonated with me too. Um, I had you sitting on my heart or you popped into my head today, or I, gosh, I've just been thinking about you. I saw you post this, um, or, you know, you just crossed my mind. It's been so long since we've talked and I've been so nervous to reach out. And that absolutely is true. I'm so nervous to reach out to people, but just be real and be raw. And I've been so nervous to reach out, but Hey, here I am. I love to connect. And I don't know if you know, because they probably don't know if you know, I don't know if you know, but I have an Arbonne business um, and tell a little bit about what that means to you. 
Um, you know, absolutely. She says, share the products, you know, it doesn't have to be cr this crazy, you know, discover our bond, you know, 16 minute deal, just make it super, you know, super impactful, but super short, um, share the products, the financial blessings, again, that community and belonging that we have, um, that so many people need right now, especially, you know, especially now, but I think all the time across the board, that community and that belonging and that culture is so huge. Um, and then, you know, kind of round it out and say, I, I don't know if it's a fit or not. Um, but would you just be open to taking a look at a quick video and, and seeing what I do every day? And, you know, I don't think people are going to say no all the time, you know, and just say, I just needed to share with you and then just send your 10 minute video about why, why you're doing this. And, and that kind of resonated too, um, because that's a good lesson for me. I still need to do my video. I hate myself on camera and that's just something I'm getting over, <laughs> but it's just something that, you know, I, I was like, you know, yeah, I do need to do a 10 minute video because if I'm reaching out to somebody and that person has truly been on my heart and in my head, why would I send a video of somebody else? It should come from me for sure. So that's another thing too, kind of on, you know, as far as reaching out, but that verbiage steps, um, were just so amazing. And I can send them out to the group too, if everyone wants, because I kind of typed them out on little bullet points on notes, just to kind of as thought starters to get going. So. Yeah, you. I love that. I think, um, you know, we talked about it last week, just how we want to be sensitive to people, you know, in this moment in time and not like, mm, I have a business, mm, you know, <laughs> that kind of posture, but, but just genuinely, holy cow, you've been on my heart. Mm -hmm. um, and here's why uh, I saw your post, whatever. Um, so, so yeah, just, just to summarize what you just said, Tara, mm -hmm. um, this is from Beth Lomez, which I'm going to ask us to be on our Voxer call too. Okay. And we can kind of drill this in her reach out um, method. But yeah, she talked about just, just even taking 10 minutes and reaching out to three people a day using voice memo. Um, just because it, tra obviously we've all been texting, right? And it, you, you just don't get the, the feedback, <laughs> the back and forth as much with text, but so change it up. This is a great time. And I don't think we have to worry about the time of day right now because everyone's just kind of in a, <laughs> in a, you know, um, they have some free time right now to listen to a voice memo. And your passion, your heart will come across a voice memo more than a text. Um, I'm not saying texting is bad. I'm just saying if you're not getting the responses you'd like, change it up. You know, even do a quick little 20 second video and send that out. So her verbiage is, hi, hey, Lauren, it's Tammy. I know we haven't talked in a while, whatever, you know, say the obvious. Um, I saw your post and I've been watching whatever, your kids grow up, whatever, you know, just say the obvious connection that you have. And then say, I just wanted to reach out to you. I don't know if you know, but I've started an incredible business with Arbonne. I fell in love with the products years ago. And I love sharing them with others. And I realize that there's an amazing lucrative business attached to the products. I've had you sitting on my heart. I've had you on my mind. I've been nervous to talk to you, but I felt like I needed to share this with you. I don't know if it's a fit for you or not, but would you be open to taking a look at what I do? I could send you a quick video if you're interested, but more than anything, I just feel like I needed to share this with you. And it's nice. I mean, it lands nice. <laughs> you're giving them an out, you know? Um, and then if people, if people say, mm, no, I'm not into whatever, you know, we can, we can then share the products. You know what? I get it. This business isn't for everyone. Making money from home isn't for everyone. <laughs> I get it. Free vacations, a free Mercedes, whatever. That's not for everyone, but, <laughs> but, um, these products are truly amazing. And then you, you can talk more about the products. Um, and I can show you how to get them at a great deal, whatever. If they say no other products, then it's like, oh, I get it. I respect that. Who do you know? Who do you know? Who? Because I know this is such a pivotal space in time right now where people, you know, need to figure out a way to earn income from home. Who do you know? I would love to um, share this with, with someone. And I would be happy to send you a free product for a referral. Thank you so much. Um, I had actually someone... The other day that I reached out to a makeup artist who I've talked to about Arbonne just in person, 
Um, and she was, she sounded really into it. And then I sent her some information on it and she said, you know, I'm just, I just don't do L MLMs. And I was like, oh, you know, well, I totally respect that. Thank you um, for letting me know. I said, do you mind if I ask why? You know, did you have an experience with another company? And she said, her next response was, no, I just don't want to sell to my friends. And I was like, oh, I totally understand. I get a knot in my stomach. My face gets hot. I start sweating under my armpits when I think about selling to my friends. I go, I don't, I don't want to sell either. I never have. Um, but the cool thing is I'm just sharing what works for me and I show them how to get the same discount I get, you know? It's just like, it's just like anything. Um, this is my favorite restaurant. This is the lady I get my hair done with. This is, you know, we're, we're recommending things all the time. And people say, what are you drinking? Or what, what looks so good, Tammy, at 45. <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's Arbonne, thank God. You know, and then they can ask, do they, you know, um, what is Arbonne, whatever, and we share it. It's not like we're forcing Arbonne on anybody. So anyway, I just had a little back and forth with her. And at this point, I think I'm just going to send her some samples and ask for her review, you know, on the products, because she did ask to look at a, a virtual catalog. So that's where we're at with that. But I'm just, um, I just want to get across that a no doesn't mean you stop the conversation. A no to the business doesn't mean you stop the conversation. You just switch it to products and then you can switch it to a referral. Does that make sense? And like I said, this is um, some great verbiage that, that just landed well with me. You know, it wasn't like a, a hard, like, hmm, join me. And another thing is um, people who say, uh, you know, so say you send out this voice memo and people say, oh, I just don't have time for a business. I'm so busy. Great. Just respond back. Oh, I'm not asking you to join my business. I'm just asking you to take a look. Good, huh? <laughs> so that's, we don't know if they're qualified to join us. <laughs> like we're interviewing them, you know? <laughs> so, so I love that response too. Like, oh, I wouldn't, I would never think of asking you to join my business. I'm just asking you to take a look right now. That's where we're at. Relax. <laughs> like I'm not asking you to quit your job. <laughs> just asking you to have a conversation. So, so that's all. How, how does that feel to everyone? And we can, um, yeah, Tara, you can post your verbiage. I can post how I tweaked it. You can listen to this call that we're talking about. I'll have Beth Lomez who, who did this call on our Voxer too. But just, I, I guess I just wanted to put it out there. Like this is the time to, to connect with people, you know, and from the heart. Um, I always like to say why, why I thought of them too. Um, so we... I, I was listening again to a go for gold yesterday and they were saying by taking courage and going after your dreams, you create an opportunity for others to go after their dreams. <laughs> Carl's outside with a, with a sign, <laughs> putting the sign up for me. It's so cute. Um, so yes, when, when we take courage and, and make the call, make, do the voice memo, you know, we're creating this space for others to have an opportunity to, to go after their dreams. And it does take courage. I remember Cecilia Stoll always saying this, that this business doesn't take confidence. It takes courage to like, just take that next step, to make that next connection, to create that next conversation. Um, but just holding the belief in our mind that we have a resource with which we can help make lives better. I'm, I'm giving myself goosebumps again, because truly we have a resource that can help make lives better right now. And it's just a matter of, of opening the door to a conversation about it and knowing it's worth a conversation. We have not because we ask not. And in every adversity, we have to remember there is a gift. I love um, how I was listening to the call with Rita Davenport yesterday, and she said that um, there are three in the Great Depression in the 1930s. There were three things that survived the Great Depression, and that was um, Wrigley's chewing gum, Hershey's chocolate bars, and personal care products. <laughs> so if you if you haven't 
if it hasn't occurred to you <laughs> that you're in the right business at the right time for the right reasons with the right team, oh my goodness. I mean, we are, we're, we're just, we're, we're in this space of time for a reason. And I believe we've all been called to this business with our unique voice, with our unique experiences. And we hear a lot. I've grown up in Arbonne hearing the term prepare for impact. And I always took it as preparing financially for impact. And of course, you know, impact hit me hard when I was diagnosed with cancer and I couldn't work for six months and I lived on my own. I was single. I had a mortgage. It was terrifying because I just, you know, I knew that I was at this impasse of, I could lose my house over this diagnosis. Um, but more than preparing financially for impact, I want you to think about how our lives have been preparing us all along for this moment in time. So your past, all of your experiences are rolled into your why story, are rolled into your unique voice right now so that you can connect to people in your unique way. Your network is enough right now to get the ball rolling and your experiences and and abilities to connect with people who have common ground with you that's i mean that's you that's yours that's your you your unique gift in this business is the way that your life has prepared you for this moment in time to connect with people so you know as we're reaching out we do we do want to tap into being vulnerable and sharing our heart and connecting in a way um the word courage actually the root of it is heart, C-O-U-R. That, that is like the French or Latin word for heart. And so think about that. We're sharing, we're sharing who we are with, with all our heart and connecting with other people's hearts as well in this business and in this time. So that's what I have for you. Does anyone else have feedback? Or do you want to say something? I hope that was inspiring for you. Now it makes me want to change my why all over again and add courage to it. <laughs> Wait, who Hello. just said? Uh, oh, that's Melissa. Uh, you have uh, a great one, Melissa. And you know what? We do we do shift and alter and tweak our why all along, you know? And I, I just, I'm always trying to think of a way to express my why so that there's a universal connection, you know? Like you've heard me say, I was looking for a way to earn income without being clocked in. That's the universal yeah. way to say. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I wanted something besides working as a nurse, you know? <laughs> but but yeah. not everybody can relate to working as a nurse 12 hour night shift, so. I just, you know, I tried to say it in a way that it, or, or I felt like I was working so hard and not able to get ahead. Yeah. That's kind of a generic statement, but it's all encompassing. Like anyone can relate to that, you know, or yeah. I was looking for a way to give back more. I was looking for a way to, um, yeah, just, just have more, more, more money at the end, you know, it's like too much month at the end of the money. <laughs> yeah, I just love the word courage. That's going to be my new motto. So, well, that, that's what we are. We're a courageous nation. <laughs> I think we all need shirts like that. We are. Oh, they're coming. <laughs> and, so excited. and kids need it too. Kids need them too. That's right. <laughs> no, I remember... Um, I remember Cecilia saying to, you know, <laughs> enjoy momentum because it won't last. And I thought, that's kind of rude. Why would you say it that way? But it's true. It's like we, we have to take courage every day to, to create the momentum, to create the space where we can have conversations with people. And you know what? The more we help other people feel good about themselves, the more we uplift people, the more positive we are, the more that we can help people feel important, the more inclined they are to join our team and to be drawn to us. So always think about that. Like it might not be, you know, an Arbonne conversation at first. It might just be a way to help out and do something nice for people. Um, it might be, you know, donating healthcare packages right now that will then spark a conversation about Arbonne later. 
So just think about adding value to the world and adding value to your neighbors and contacts. And then the Arbonne door could open down the road. Um, but yeah, that's what we're about. I mean, really it boils down to making friends and, you know, solving problems, being a solution finder for people. That's our job is to make friends and be a person who adds value and then find us, you know, lists in for a need and then find the solution for them. So that's really how we break down what we do. And then we just share how they can be part of this company, you know, at a discount, all of those lovely perks that we get and love. I love it. Yeah, I love that we have a resource that we can help make lives better in this time, right now. It's so exciting. So we have, okay, it's, it's Sunday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, we have three whole days to uh, reach out, connect um, on the business, but also um, provide an opportunity for people to give back and donate for the healthcare providers. So let's do it. Let's dig in. Let's again, make this, we already are having the best month ever, but let's just, let's just blow this up. It's so much fun. All right. I love you guys. I think I'm going to stop the recording and we can chat.